some bit of profit taking post a stellar first quarter numbers. But remember, this year itself, the stock is up around 65 odd percent. So it's, uh, you know, priced in some good gains as well. The question is, where do we go from here? We have with us uh, Akshali Shah, who is the ED of the company. Thanks a lot, Akshali, for joining in. We've seen a near 8.5% jump in your revenues and the EBITDA margins have expanded by about 400 basis points. Just wanted to understand what your targets for this year on both the revenue as well as the margins are. And will you turn in positive cash flow this year? Because the last four years, you've had negative operating cash flow in three of them. Yeah. Hi, Magram. How are you doing? So, of course, uh, after after the first Q1 numbers, uh, we've... Uh, we've, in fact, it's been a turmoil in the last couple of years for the dairy industry. You know, the price is going up and down after COVID. Uh, suddenly, there was a peak jump in the demand in the supply. And of course, with the lumpy cow disease. Uh, now, I think uh, it's a good period for the dairy industry because the milk prices have started to stabilize. Uh, yeah, and of course, in the coming, in the next year or two, we see ourselves becoming, uh, you know, uh, cash profit or trading profit positive. Actually, hi, welcome to the show. Just talking about the milk procurement prices, it has uh, corrected around 5% on a Q1Q basis, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, how much further do you expect it to probably correct, if that's your assumption, and what would it do to your margins? Okay, so I'll t uh, if, you, if you compare it to the last year, of course, in the last probably eight quarters, it's actually gone up by more than 47%. Uh, the milk prices and in the coming probably the next two to three quarters we see the milk prices stabilizing and uh, this will actually have a very positive impact uh, on the margins as well if you see our q1 if you see a quarter and quarter growth in the gross margin is all, already up by 650 basis points um, we see a good stable year uh, moving forward we've had a good monsoon so far uh, we're expecting of course it's been a late monsoon but it's been a good monsoon there's a lot of correction that is happening with a lot of supply that was happening exports now it's corrected uh, the lumpy cow disease uh, that was there now that's corrected too so milk prices would be stable in the next coming quarters okay milk prices will be stable uh, the uh, the only concern that the street perhaps has actually is the fact that your debt has been rising in the last couple of years now you're sitting at almost 600 crores of debt compared to about 380 crores in fy21 uh, do you think there will be more pressure on the balance sheet and any scope to reduce debt in the next year or so? Okay, of course, uh, I, you know, as I mentioned, uh, we're, we're, we literally have no zero debt when it comes to a long-term or a capex debt. Uh, uh, we, we, uh, that's, that's completely we've ruled out. The other bit is on the working capital debt. Of course, it's gone up uh, in the last three years. As I said, the industry was in a complete... Uh, turmoil, your your milk prices, which had gone up by more than 50%. Uh, there was a lot of demand supply challenge, and hence uh, the debt has gone up. But of course, moving forward, we see ourselves reducing the debt. Uh, in fact, we got good investors coming in, which is like IFC, which helped us with, um, with the working capital, and also they've put in equity as well. So moving forward, we see the debt coming down. Question before we let you go. Um... What's your revenue growth target for the year? Basis your current capacity. What is the maximum revenue can you do? And in that, if you could, you know, tell us uh, how much comes in from premium. Okay. So I'll tell you uh, what is the probably the target that we've taken internally to grow in the next three to four years is that grow by 25 to 30% CAGR. And uh, it's, it's a massive industry. Uh, probably 90% of the industry is unorganized. Uh, it's a 12 lakh crore market, which is going to go to 13, uh, 30 lakhs, which is uh, which is going to more than double in the next three to four years. And we need more than $10 billion or $20 billion company to suffice the market or to cater to the market. And we have the right potential to do so. Uh, what percentage of our business comes from premium products is probably more than 65%. We sell uh, our core categories or our five core categories, which is ghee, uh, cheese, whey protein, and we're the only manufacturers of whey protein in India. Uh, Pride of Cows, which we cater as a super premium to h &S customers across the eight metros. And uh, so it, this consists of more than 65 to 75% of our revenues. 
All right. Thanks a lot, actually, for joining us and all the best with your future plans. That's Parag Milk Foods. Let's slip into a quick break on the other side.